Hey, ladies and gentlemen, how are we today? We are back again with another Eugene Acuna video. Now, the last time we visited this young lady, we saw a video from a guy called Johnny Gilbert, who was coming out to pretty much publicly say, hey, Eugenia, I'm worried about you. So with that being said, it seems to me as if prior to that, she had already made a video called Addressing the Hate. So we're about to check it out and see what she believes is hate and really what may not be hate, it may just actually be constructive criticism. And that is just the bottom line. But with that being said though, let's not waste any more time. Let's start off by giving a big massive shout out to every single person that is a member of the channel and also the member of Patreon as well, including every single person that is a subscriber as we continue to grow. And also on that note, if you would like to become a member of the channel or a Patreon member, the links are down below for you guys in the description <laughs> and if you want to become a subscriber it's the big red button and also next to that is the bell where you can also put in your notifications so you're notified each time i upload something new but with that being said though let's get into this video and let's see what eugenia cuny had to say when she when it came to addressing the hate hey guys eugenia so today i thought i would do a video that i haven't really done a video like this in a really long time i'm gonna respond to a bunch of the hate that i see like every day pretty much i feel like sometimes online like people really get like the wrong idea and people just think that i call like everybody a hater which i really do not ever mean to do that some comments that i do see pretty regularly i will kind of look at is like legit hate but i definitely never mean to call like everyone a hater at all or anything like that and even with this guys like even towards the, some of these people that may not have been very nice with some of the stuff i still don't want to cause these people to get hate or anything like that i'm just kind of like hopefully someday they find like better or like more positive nicer things to do. I am gonna like borrow their usernames and all that so nobody should get any hate that way. Yeah guys, anyways, I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and read some of these comments. It's like I found some of these on YouTube, I found some of these on Twitter, I found some on Instagram, and I found some in my Instagram DMs because sometimes my Instagram- That is not good man because that means she was searching for the hate comments. That is not a healthy thing to do. You should never try and search purposely for the hate comments, even if it's for the purposes of making a video. I mean, listen, some people are stronger than others, which I guess there's a fine line where maybe it's okay because they can handle it. But then there are people who are just not as strong as others. And Eugenia Cooney, in my opinion, is not one of those people that is strong enough to handle all of the hate comments. But then again, maybe I'm wrong because if she's done it and she's still been able to make this video, depending on what she says, then maybe her skin is thicker than what I think. But at the same time, if her skin is really that thick, maybe it's the reason why she is still behaving the way she is behaving because she simply just doesn't care. But let's, let's get into this. Instagram DMs can be a very like interesting place. I think I'm just gonna like grab my phone real quick and read some of these. And also guys, I'm really used to getting a lot of these comments, so I'm definitely not making this like being like, oh my gosh, you guys have to feel so bad for me or anything like that. But I don't know, it always seems like you guys kind of like these kind of videos. So I thought- I'll be honest with you, sometimes when I hear those comments from certain YouTubers, not every YouTuber, just certain YouTubers, when they say the comments, hey, you know, don't worry, you haven't, you haven't got to feel bad for me. I mean, first and foremost, that is reverse psychology anyway. And like, again, not every YouTuber says it in a, in a, in a, in a reverse psychology way. Some YouTubers generally mean it like, hey, it's, it's okay, don't feel bad for me. But then some of them really just want to pull your heartstrings. And to be honest with you, I believe in this moment in time, she's saying it's to pull your heartstrings. But let's continue. I would do one. All right, guys, so I got my phone right here. All right, guys, so this comment is from Twitter. And Twitter is, of course, like one of the nicest places ever. One thing that I'm going to say here is that she starts off the whole video, she starts off the intro of the video with herself on a close up. But for some bizarre reason, now she just has to show her full image, which means that the behavior that she's been called out for, or at least one of them, is something that she still portrays within this video because why would she, why does she feel the need to, to then change the camera angle? I know so some of you may think yeah, that's not a big deal, like you're nitpicking. But let's just think about the logistics. Let's think about what she is, you know, what people scrutinize her for. And that is her image. And if this is a video about addressing hate, why not keep the camera in the same place? You see what I'm saying? So I'm just saying I find it quite fitting that uh, she still chooses to, just to, to somewhat gaslight people a little bit by showing her image, if that makes sense. Because I hope I'm making sense. If I'm not, then <laughs> I guess it is what it is. But let's continue. Come right here. All right, guys. So this comment is from Twitter. And Twitter is, of course, like one of the nicest places ever. The more you show how much of a piece of ass human you are, the more I believe the world will actually be a better place after your body eats itself to death. And I hate to say that because it's gross, but uh, you are a problem. You're such an effing problem. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm sorry to this person. I guess they're just kind of like waiting for me to die. Sometimes I see these kind of comments. I mean, to be honest with you, <laughs> the least of your worries is not worrying about that person potentially waiting for you to pass away. Your worries is more like... You should be worrying about how to actually make your life worth something, like make it actually last longer. Because to be honest with you, that's the problem. The problem is, is that you're not 
looking after yourself and you look like you are going to die anytime soon. So therefore, if someone is making that comment, which I, which is a comment that I'm not necessarily defending, but if they're making that comment, it's because there is something that you have done that has projected them to want to say this to you. And obviously what you have done is shown yourself in a way where you just don't care about your health. So therefore, that person has been triggered to say something like that. Obviously, they could have said it in a far much more nicer way, which would have been so much better. But obviously, understand sometimes when people come at you with some aggression, it's not, we, should, we shouldn't just be like, oh, that person hates me. We should then try and think, okay, but where did that come from? Where does that stem from? Wh what did I do to project you to say that? And what she has done to project that person to say that is not looking after herself, in my opinion. But let's continue. Like, I don't know. I mean, sorry that they think that. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna die anytime soon or anything, but I mean, yeah, um, uh, sorry that they delusional. They think that I'm so bad for the world. Yikes, I'm sure your mom is already planning the live funeral broadcast. I don't think my mom plans for me to have a funeral anytime soon or anything, and raw. D <laughs> you gotta understand what that meant. What they trying to say is that your mom is no good for you your mum is one of the biggest problems in your life because your mum has the responsibility after carrying you for nine blood club months as well to look after your health and to push you in the right direction so the fact that your mum isn't doing that means that clearly your mum enjoys the money that you're getting rather than enjoying the life that she gave you you know for you to cherish so to be honest with you them saying that your mum was planning for your funeral that is not a hate comment in a certain way it's a hate coin but it's not because it's projecting what they feel it's projecting it's projecting what that person feels about your mother's behavior you see what i'm saying we sometimes listen you gotta dig deep into these things but let's continue my mom doesn't even watch my stream so yeah i don't think she's planning that my mom doesn't stream either just so you know so this reminds me of pictures of the holocaust victims i like how people say things like that sometimes like even in like live streams or whatever raw out of all the comments she wanted to pick that one I don't know if I don't know if she's Jewish to be honest with you, but like we got, damn. I mean, I'll be I'll be honest with you. Out of all hate comments, I don't think that's the one I would have put on the screen to be honest with you. But to be honest with you, I feel like she's put that on there potentially has a way to you know manipulate the audience. Be like, raw people are saying that. Oh, hey, uh, let me feel sorry for you again. You know, that 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 is it's, that that was an interesting interesting pick in my opinion. But let's continue. Unless she's Jewish, but either way, damn. I'm always just kind of like, guys, like, the Holocaust is really serious. I mean, luckily, like, I obviously wasn't even, like, alive when the Holocaust happened, but luckily, I'm, I'm not a Holocaust victim, but I feel really bad for anyone that was. This one is, like, pretty intense, so I don't know if I'm gonna read all of this out loud, just because it's, like, a little bit intense. This is the comment, though. There's going to come a point, and it already passed a long time ago for many, where your fans just wish you were gone already. The fact that you're so sickly, it's disturbing to look at. You have become a monster being consumed by your own vanity that became a horrific disorder. People around you supporting this, taking photos of you, they should say no, take your own, and leave you. You have become nothing more than a negative impact on the world. You're not good for anyone. You just make people sad or upset in some other way whenever they look at you because they know you've already given yourself an early death sentence. Okay, and then they're just talking about other stuff, so I think I'm gonna <laughs> just skip some of this because, you know, it's like kind of intense. And then they're just like, there's no quality of life. You died a long time ago, and what's left is a corpse and makeup and ill-fitting clothes. No one truly wants you here. Your friends are acting. Your supporters are either trying reverse psychology to get you to gain weight or they're insane or evil or even evil. But left is there. You'll be gone soon. And stuff that would be best for everyone wow okay so that one is a little intense um raw she she's 100 percent. she's picking comments so people can give a sympathy remember what she said at the beginning of the video you know what i mean the reverse psychology when she said that hey guys i'm not looking for sympathy so why is she picking certain comments that really hit that kind of nail very suspect but okay eugenia what to say to that i'm just kind of like uh ew what the hell is happening to her like oh just die already lol i don't know i'm sorry i was like a lot of people are just like just die already just so you guys know like seriously if you just like stop watching me or like click off it will literally be like i'm already dead you know like if you're not watching someone isn't it like i already died so i mean so when's the funeral is she okay You know what? Flat out, this girl does not give a damn about her life. She does not give a damn about her actions. Because to be honest with you, the way she's just smiling. Now, obviously, the smile could be an anxious smile. People smile all the time for different reasons. But to be honest with you, the way she's moving right now in this video, in my opinion, is the is, is she's moving like someone who just doesn't give a damn. No wonder why people are saying what they're saying. When it becomes repetitive about people saying that you shouldn't be here, that's a problem. It means you're projecting something that says you don't want to be here or at least you don't care. And the way she's even delivering this video says that. Wow. 
funeral. Sad, but that's what you're promoting, right? I don't know when the funeral is. Hopefully no one has a funeral soon. These kind of are always a little weird to me because I'll see some of these people like comment like one thing and then they'll leave another comment that's like kind of like the total opposite, like right after. So this person commented right here. They go so fat. Right after that, they commented eat some food. So um, I don't know. It's kind of weird like when people do that because it's kind of like, wait, like which one is it? Like you literally just commented like two opposite things. Uh, I gave up on you. You want to die? Then die. I don't think I'm going to die right now, but uh, even her underwear doesn't fit and she must be stuffing her bra. No way she should have that on her own. Um, okay, and this is kind of like a weird story, guys. Okay, so I was like taking a photo and like, I was on a beach and kind of like the way I was saying, like there was like a rock and I guess I was just kind of like, you know, like sitting like a weird way or like, I don't know. Yo, man, she shouldn't be built like that though, man. She should not be built like that. Yo, on some legit, legit, legit. She should not be built. Her legs are mad. Wow. No. I don't know what's harder to watch. I don't know what's hard. I don't know what's hard about this video. Listening to the comments or literally seeing her legs the way they. I, I, I'll be honest with you. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this video at this moment in time. This video is actually legit intense. And legit, it's either one because of the comments or two because. I do apologize. Let's continue. I didn't realize I was, but apparently I was. And I think like there were some people that had a thought that they could like, well, there's like these people telling me I like exposed myself or whatever. There's nothing showing. Like I had tie-dye shorts on. So I mean, it has a lot of colors in it and they kind of like transition a lot throughout them. So I honestly think what people are seeing is mostly my shorts. And if anything, people may have seen a little bit of my underwear like by accident, not on purpose. It wouldn't be anything beyond like what people might see in like a bathing suit and it wasn't on purpose anyway. But that's what they're talking about, I think. And God, even her panties don't fit her. So gross. Uh, I mean, I don't know guys. I don't think they fit that bad. Uh, anyways, okay, next comment. Eugenia is manipulative, vile person. Her mother does whatever Eugenia demands, or Eugenia threatens her and gets worse. You have no clue what you would do if that was your daughter. Eugenia is abusive. Her mother is imperfect, but Eugenia is vile. This was so confusing to me because I was just like, where did this person get the idea that I manipulate my mom? Like, I definitely don't. Make sure to pick something up to show how weak you are. Get that money, nasty bee. And this is like another weird one. Like, people come up with like these weird conspiracies. Like, people thought that like, I have like a makeup in um, with makeup and I move it over to my couch to do makeup there because that's where I do makeup. And people came up with this like crazy conspiracy because sometimes i would forget to like move it back because sometimes i just i guess i don't remember things that great and then people came up with like this insane like theory that the reason that i was doing that was because i was trying to like get people to pay me money on twitch and it's like no it would like literally it's, it's my makeup bin i move it to where i do makeup and forget to move it back but people like make it into like this crazy like conspiracy so i don't know if that's what they're talking about i don't know but it's like okay of course you just like kill yourself because like i mean i know exactly what she's talking about i saw that in a video once upon a time about her and to be honest with you what people said about that movement looked it sounded to me as if people were spot on to be honest with you so i don't know <laughs> she can deny it and do whatever she wants to say what she's saying but boy that that looked very evident if you ask me but let's continue guess a lot of you want me to call myself uh no one gives an ass about your prop no kid needs to see an effing walking skeleton you're the actual worst you just look terrified like some people kind of got mad at me i guess like for going to the beach it's kind of weird too because sometimes i'll see some of these like same people being like oh eugenia like you never leave your house like what's wrong with you all right so anyways next comment um on here you put yourself out there on the internet every day so expect people to comment do i really have to tell you that and with the way you look a half dead uh <laughs> i don't think they spelled this word right uh white zombie looking thing that you think looks good also you purposely make yourself look like this for shock. If some people get shocked by me or whatever, I mean, I don't know, I can't always really help that really is. Yeah, you were torn. You look like you died two years ago. Sick. If I was dead You know what, the ladies and gentlemen, we've seen enough. We have seen enough. That... Whoo! I'm gonna tell you this now. I'm gonna tell you this now 100. I'm keeping it 100 of you. The, and I said at the beginning of the video, the fact that she purposely went to look for these, for these, for these uh, comments, right? Means either one, she got thick, thick skin or she hasn't. Originally, I said I felt like she didn't have thick skin. I'm going to tell you this now. The, she has got thick skin, but not thick skin in a healthy way, healthy way. She's got thick skin in terms of she just doesn't care. Legit, legit. And the way she handpicked those certain comments as well. And a lot of them became very repetitive. There's a lot of them involved with her, with her life not, not being anymore. You know, they're repetitive in that kind of notion. And she kept digging and digging and digging in that kind of narrative. She's put, she's, she was basically painting a picture, painting a narrative where people can then feel sorry for her because she's always getting these comments that, that, that involve her life being taken away from her. Do you see what I'm saying here? And she denies being a manipulator. Wow. Honestly, yeah, like, I don't know if I'm just completely annoyed and completely vexed with her behavior. To be honest with you, like, I don't know how to feel right now. I'm feeling a little bit emotional because this ain't good. 
This is not healthy. And when I say this isn't good and this isn't healthy, what I mean is what she is doing online is not good. It is not healthy for any viewer to watch. Okay, even the ones that are, even the ones that pander to her, even the ones that encourage her. It's not good for them neither because to be honest with you, they're getting some fixation out of it, which is stupid. And then the ones, then they, and then they're the ones that actually look up to her, which is even more just bizarre. Like on some legit, legit stuff like, oh my goodness gracious me, how this woman is still here on this platform or any platform is beyond me. You know? Like, <sighs> Listen, you know what we do in this channel. We react to a lot of the other girls, right, who are plus size. Well, to be fair, super size, to be honest with you, with all due respect. And I... This... Wow. This girl needs to humble herself real quick. And humble herself for herself. I'll be honest with you, I feel... I'm, I'm actually getting really emotional right now. I'm, I'm, I'm going to end the video because, boy, I can't even get out the words that's actually in my head out properly because, boy, I, I am disturbed. Disturbed, disgusted. <sighs> Do you know what's so fitting, though? Do you know what's so fitting, you know? There are people in this world right now and I mean legit, legit, like right now, who are going through the absolute most, okay? Those people, myself included, and how some of you already know, okay? Most recently, I have um, uploaded a video, okay, on my other channel, okay, about depression, about my anxiety, okay? And it, it's actually a spit in the face that this is a woman that, feel, I feel like she's walking all over that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? Not taking it seriously. Now listen, in case you haven't seen my video, I will leave the link for you guys, okay, to pop up on the screen soon after I finish talking here, okay? And uh, it will take you straight to my other channel, okay? And then you just see the video here. And I'll be honest with you, like, the fact that I made this video and now I'm watching this video, I must say to you, <laughs> I'd be lying to you if I didn't feel triggered right now by this girl's behavior because the way she's behaving is unacceptable. But nonetheless, though, thank you so much for your time and I'll see you love the people in the comment section. We are done and we are out. Peace.